Welcome to this video where I want to have a look at how we can upload files to our backend to some RESTful API with a React app or in a React app. So let's dive right into that. I'm in a brand new project which I created with create react app, didn't change anything in there. And I'm in the app.js file, which is the main component we're viewing here once we start the development server. Now in there, I'll first of all, get rid of all the content and I'll start simple. I want to add an input, a file input, which the user can use to pick a file. So I'll actually add an input of type file here, just like that. Should be self-closing, of course. Now, if I save this, what we can see is this, well, file input here, unsurprisingly, in which I can pick a file. Now, I want to see which file was picked. So in order to do this, I'll add the onChange listener, which will fire whenever the user changes, a new, changes the file, picks a new file. So I'll add a method here, which I'll simply name file selected handler, where I will get the event and where for now I simply want to log that event. So with that, I'll assign it here with this file selected handler. And please note, I'm using that syntax where I set up this method as basically a property that holds an arrow function. This will ensure that the, this keyword inside that method always keeps the context of this component and doesn't refer to anything else as it often does if you attach event listeners. So now with that, let's go back to the app and let's actually choose a file now. And you see, I get this event, which gets executed, where I also got the target wrapped in there. Now, I'm interested in that target. So I will execute event target and lock that to the console. So let's try this again. And now we see we get that file input. Now the cool thing is on there, since it is a file input, we'll have a files array where the first element will be the file we added. And if we had a multi-file input uh, field here, we could access all the files here as elements of that array. So now I'm logging that first file. If I do it like this, then this is the file the user picked with the name, the size and so on. This is the file I want to upload. Obviously I could upload whenever the file changes or I simply add a button below there. A button where I say upload and where I then will add a click listener. So here I'll add on click and execute my, let's say this file upload handler. Now I need to add this, so I will add my file upload handler method here. Don't need an argument. And in here, the goal is to upload the file. Before that, I need to store it. So I will initialize my state here, also with this property syntax, where I have the selected file, which initially is just null, let's say. Here, where we select the file, I will no longer log it, but instead call this set state and set my selected file equal to event, target files, and that first file we selected. Now it's stored in my state. And now we can use it here in the upload handler, but for uploading, we need to send an HTTP request, and I want to use a library for that. I will use Axios to send that request. So I quit my development server and I will install with npm install dash dash save. Or actually here I will use yarn because that was initialized with yarn. So yarn add Axios or npm install dash dash save Axios would be the equivalent. Thereafter, I'll start the development server again. And now I can import Axios from Axios here and use that package. In the file upload handler, I can then call Axios post and post my request to a certain URL. Now for the URL, I will use an endpoint I created with the help of a Firebase Cloud function. I did this in an earlier video you can find on this channel. Link is in the video description and probably up here. And in this video, you will learn how you can set up your own API endpoint with the help of Firebase Cloud functions. And there I created an API endpoint that accepts incoming form data, so a mixture of fields and files, and stores the file this might hold in Firebase Cloud Storage. To see this in action, I'll go to the Firebase console where I added this, and I'll first of all clean up my file storage so that it's empty, so that we can really see if that worked. 
And then the function has this endpoint. Now you can't use that because the project will not be available anymore when you're watching this, but you can create this as I show in the other video, or of course you use any other backend you might have. So with that, I'll go back to my app and add this URL. And now I want to construct some form data, which I sent. So I'll name this FD new form data. That's a default JavaScript uh, object. And there I will append, let's say my image field. You can name this whatever you want. I will get my selected file from the state and give it the name the file has by accessing this state selected file and there the name property. You could see this earlier in the console log that the file has this name property. And with that, this is the data I want to send with the post request. So I will set this as data which should be sent. And thereafter, this gives us a promise where I want to output any response I get here. We can also add a catch block to catch errors, but let's first of all see if this succeeds like this. So now I save that and I go back to my app and I will now choose a file where we don't upload it yet, we just selected it. But if I now press upload, we should, after a short duration, see our response. And that's looking good, 200. And if we have a look at the data, we get it worked, which indeed is the response this Firebase function gives back if everything works. So that's pretty cool. And this is already how you can upload files from your React app, just like that, very simple. We can enhance this with Axios. We can also report the progress of the file upload by passing a third argument to configure this request. And there you can add a on upload progress handler. There it will then execute this function where we get the progress event which we can use, for example, to update the UI and output a percentage of the upload state. Here I will simply log it to the console. And there we can say upload progress and then simply add the progress event. And there we'll have a loaded property, which is the amount in kilobytes or in bytes that has already been uploaded, divided by progress event total, which will be the total amount it has to upload. That's just what this event exposes to you. This event is coming from the XML HTTP request object behind the scenes. Now we can wrap this in parentheses and multiply it with 100 like this and maybe then round the overall result. So MOF round, whoops, times 100 should be inside the parentheses though so that we round the overall value to the next integer and then we could add percent after that. Now let's see this in action. Let's save this and let's again pick a file here and click, click upload. And now you see we got the different progress events in between and then it takes a little, little bit longer to get back the response and we get the response. And with that we enhance this upload and of course you could use the data you get back on the progress event to update your progress bar or whatever you have on your page. Now one last thing I want to do in this video, I want to make sure that we also learn how we can hide this input and trigger it through some button in case you don't want to show that input. You can then simply set some inline styles here and set display to none like this and then maybe add another button where you say pick file where I will then simply add an on click listener and now I want to essentially trigger this input when this button is clicked. For this, I can use a concept in React named refs. A ref is simply um, a way for me to get access to another reference in my DOM, in my template here in the JSX code, I should say. I use it by adding the ref key here and ref then takes a function where we bind some property of our class to a reference of this input. So here maybe I could name this file input and set this file input equal to file input. So React will give me a reference to this file or to this input, excuse me, to this element and I can then store this in a property of this class. And now in on click, I can simply execute this file input click. This should be wrapped into a method though. So let me quickly do that. Let's create an arrow function which will then execute this. 
And now with that, if I save that and go back, you see the input element is hidden, but if I click pick file, it still opens and it still works as before, but now through that button and by hiding that input element, which might be something you want. You don't need to do that. It's just an option. And I hope this video was helpful. And with that, file uploads are a bit easier and a bit clearer when it comes to implementing them in a React app.